thousands of people go traveling every year and bring back souvenirs. But can you imagine if all of that cheap tat was put on display in a museum? Well, now it is. Buckingham Palace is showing just what travelers in the 18th century brought back from their holidays. Buckingham Palace has an Italian guest. The Queen's Gallery is showing work by the 18th century Venetian painter Giovanni Antonio Canal, better known as Canaletto. The exhibit takes us for a trip along the canals and to the palaces of the artist's hometown. Canaletto's paintings of Venice have defined the image um, of Venice for, for us even today. Um, people go to the city and recognise sites from Canaletto's paintings, whether they've seen the paintings or whether they've seen them on reproductions on postcards or tea towels or other um, tourist souvenirs. Um, and yeah, the city, the city is well known to us through Canaletto's paintings. Many of Canaletto's patrons were wealthy people on a grand tour of Europe. What he created was something for the tourists to take home. Today you'd buy a postcard, but then there were no postcards, so you would commission Canaletto to do an oil painting, and if you couldn't afford that, he would also give you the opportunity to purchase a print, which was, of course, much smaller, much cheaper. You could roll it up, put it in your suitcase. Canaletto made sure tourists left with more than just a trinket from their travels, even if it meant he had to take some liberties with Venice's geography. He would, by, by his own admission, maybe make a building a little bit closer to the left or make it slightly taller if it helped with the composition. Because don't forget, when people left Venice and they had just this wonderful painting, the painting had to stand in its own right as a great work of art. Britain's Royal Art Collection is believed to own the most canalettos in the world. It's exhibiting them alongside the works by his contemporaries. But here's a warning. A trip to the exhibit could come with a side effect. You might find yourself desperate to hop on a plane to Canaletto's City of Canals.